Cursed Pirate Girl is a comic book tale of a salty little adventurer traveling in search of her lost father, one of the dreaded pirate captains of the mythical Omerta Seas. Rendered in a stunning pen and ink style, the story begins in Port Elizabeth, Jamaica in the year 1728 and quickly heads across and beneath the waves. The story is like the fairy tales we all grew up with, perfect for kids but with bits that will make them shudder. If you're an adult who likes Terry Gilliam movies or movies like The Princess Bride, you'll love this more than kids do. We wanted to show you pages from inside the book, but quickly learned that the screen for video just can't capture the detail of how maddeningly intricate this line work is. One of the special things about Cursed Pirate Girl is that the artist, Jeremy Bastian, creates everything with the tiniest of brushes. Most comic books come out once a month, so the artists have to finish a page every five or six hours just to keep on schedule. Jeremy, on the other hand, takes as much as two weeks to create a single page of artwork, which means that it takes him as long as one year to create a single issue of the comic. What Jeremy is creating truly defines the word extraordinary. At Olympian Publishing, we believe that what's more important is not getting his book out quickly, but helping this very special artist to realize his unique vision. We encourage Jeremy to take as long as he needs to make each page everything that it can be, and he constantly surprises us with how many things he can fit into the tiniest of corners. In his mind, he is writing the history of each and every character and creature that makes even the briefest appearance on a page. On the right, see this peculiar snail with a beer stein and colonial hat? He's only one of a thousand unnamed characters peeking out from every corner. In every inch, there is such immense detail, a hundred small stories unfolding themselves. You can reread these books over and over and catch something new and beautiful each and every time. We're now preparing to release the collected edition of Cursed Pirate Girl, just over 100 pages and representing three years of Jeremy's dedication to telling this story. We've made a commitment to environmentally conscious printing in North America, and that means that the cost to manufacture our books is more than twice what it would cost if we were printing them overseas with mass-produced materials. When Cursed Pirate Girl came out in single issue form, the cover price was $4.95. The books were printed on recycled stock and we made each one unique by hand stamping each cover individually with metallic ink and another stamp like a wax seal. We wanted the books to feel old and heavy to reflect the antique style of the art and to feel like something that you could have bought on the street in London in the 1800s. We had to price the books at under $5 to be competitive and we made about 10 cents profit on each issue to cover labor, shipping fees and other costs. If you do the math with those in mind, we really lost money, but the important thing was to make something beautiful and special and get Cursed Pirate Girl out there. The books sold out as fast as we could print them, and copies of first printings have sold for hundreds of dollars on eBay. People really loved both the art and the packaging. Our mission to make something really beautiful and special is something that we want to be able to continue with, which is why we're coming to you now for your help. To offset the costs of printing using all recycled materials and still be able to keep the collected edition competitive at $20 cover price, we're putting together some packages that are only going to be offered this month and only through Kickstarter. We'll be using the same heavy papers and we'll also be stamping each and every copy of the book by hand to make each one unique. We hope that as Cursed Pirate Girl's audience continues to grow, you'll be happy that you have something that we believe is really special and your Kickstarter edition will show that you were part of helping make this book happen. We should also mention that there are some really special things in Cursed Pirate Girl's future, including an audio version that we're currently working on with some stars that you wouldn't believe reading the characters, including Mirror Mask star Stephanie Leonidas' as Cursed Pirate Girl, comic legends Grant Morrison and Dave McKean as the Swordfish Brothers, and the greatest UFC fighter of all time, Randy Couture, as the vile henchman Sharky. So if after all of this you don't trust your own eyes, let's see what some of the top names in comics have said in praise about Cursed Pirate Girl. It's all too rare that I see work that is truly original, and I almost never see work this original. Jeremy Bastian is a genius. Mike Mignola, creator of Hellboy. A throwback to classic storytelling that any age can enjoy. David Peterson, creator of Mouse Guard. Clearly he's kidnapped his own inner child, plied her with enough Victorian sweets to keep her up for days, and then chained her to a drawing board in a tiny room. Jackson Public, creator of the hit Adult Swim cartoon series The Venture Brothers. I love Cursed Pirate Girl. It is a bright light in a vast sea of sameness. Charles Vass, The Sandman, and Stardust. Authentic and timeless and wonderfully bizarre. This looks like something from 1892, but is totally ahead of its time. I wish I'd thought of it. Gerard Way, Eisner Award-winning creator of the Umbrella Academy and lead singer of rock band My Chemical Romance. 
combines the endearing qualities of classic children's books with a modern-day sensibility. The results are whimsically naive and genuinely hip. Gary Gianni, award-winning illustrator and artist of the legendary newspaper strip Prince Valiant. And the one that really sums it up for me. Cursed Pirate Girl is our generation's Alice in Wonderland. Gail Pataki, award-winning symbolist painter. Thank you so much for your help, and thanks for visiting Kickstarter.